Hey Scorpios and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, every message won't apply to you, so take what does and leave what don't and check your other signs. Alright, let's see for our Scorpios what they need to know in love. Thank you. Alright, the Queen of Wands. So, be finding your confidence again. Connecting to... Uh, your spirit guides most definitely this is connecting with your spirit guides um you could be a sag uh a sagittarius scorpio um or a scorpio sag cusper as well or have sag in your chart i just did the sagittarius reading and you have a lot of the same cards so you could be a sag scorpio cusper um but let's see what else you are um you are strengthening your connection to the divine this for me the queen of wands is very esoteric judgment you know the heavens and messenger in between you could um be like a, a messenger of the divine you could be um you know use your intuitive gifts um and they're very strong oops Could be connecting with a air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Sagittarius. All three of these cards up here are very heavy Sag energy. Um, possibly Leo or Aries with that, but I really am not feeling it. All right, your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Nine of Cups, the Princess of Cups, and the Five of Swords. So you know to get what it is that you want you're going to have to walk away from something you're going to have to do what's best for you and walk away from something that could have been very immature but there is something new brewing on the horizon for you um something very strong something very heavenly sent um with judgment and the lovers there you had the ace come out with the queen this is a new beginning for you um, you could be meeting a fire sign female as well who, who brings passion back into your life. Wow. The moon. This is all about connecting to your spiritual guides. This is following your intuition. Messages from the divine coming in for you very strong. And then judgment into judgment. You most definitely are stepping into your role, your power. Somebody from a past life is coming into your life to really answer your prayers with the lovers a heaven sent relationship um wow and it's gonna be i mean it's like you have completed your karmic dues like this is all about bringing in some relationship that's very fair and balanced and loving could be gemini or libra um something that is that you are deserving of something that is meant to be yours is coming in for you um could be communicating with that air sign but it's going to bring you instability um it's very young now like the relationship but it is going to grow it is going to flourish and it is going to bring you that stable home that loving environment that that foundation to build and flourish and and really reaping your harvest by you um completing this karmic cycle you're going to be, um, you're going to get a message in from somebody. Wow. The outcome of this is the four of pentacles. Release whatever it is that is not serving you because it's holding you back. Um, you have to let go of those three of cups and focus on the two that are standing behind you because that's where your new beginning lies. Why is the four of pentacles here for Scorpio? Okay, so yeah, this is going to just like come out of the blue. It's going to catch you off guard, um, but it's going to help you also cut away those four pinnacles that you're holding on too tight to. Could have been holding on to an earth sign that needed to be released. Your prayers have been answered, but you have to do your part as well. And that's by letting go of those three of cups um, 
and focusing on the two. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, you have to let go of somebody who was cheating, lying, stealing, whatever, going too slow, telling you that they were, you know, coming your direction, but they really weren't. Um, could have been most definitely that Earth sign. Um, but once you let go of that, it doesn't even have to be an Earth sign. It could be any sign. But once you let go of somebody who is who is very sneaky and deceitful and was telling you they were coming, but they weren't, when you release that and let that go, that's when you get your brand new beginning. That's when you are able to move forward um, and for your prayers to be answered with that Nine of Cups, getting that new beginning, taking that leap of faith, no walking away from somebody who was very unfair to you, treated you with an imbalance, did not invest enough time in you, um, was investing time in other people besides you. You are cutting yourself away from that um, energy because you do realize that you deserve better and you're doing what's best for you and cutting off this uh, this person, getting out of this this situation, coming out of this transformation and realizing that you deserve more than that small offer. And what that's going to do is bring you in that person who loves and cares and for you so much. And look what's right under that. A equal vibrational pair. Somebody who loves you and somebody who has passion for you. Um, you could be communicating with this person already, but um, this is going to make room energetically for you to have somebody new come in. For you to be able to get this new beginning and be able to, uh, you know, move forward with your creative ideas with somebody who truly loves you and holy hell, who somebody has heaven sent. Double judgment, that is a very strong, strong connection. So release that, that imbalance and allow this new beginning to happen. Scorpios, you will be glad you did, I promise. All right, let's get advice for our Scorpios. Thank you. All right, sisters of the season, cycles of growth, natural law, and divine order. You did have the wheel of fortune in there somewhere. This is all about allowing things to happen in natural time. You cannot force them. You cannot hold them off. It all has to happen. We can't have winter before we have fall. And, you know, we can't go from spring to, to fall right away. We have to allow divine order and everything to happen in its own time. And that's when it'll come in healthy and it will stay for the long, the long term. So just keep doing you and release whatever it is that is telling you they're coming and they're not. It's time to let that go so new energy can come in. So, all right, Scorps, have a good day.